Get yourself a pack of these acrylic ornaments for this easy vinyl ornament craft. For this project, I decided to find a free image on freepick.com, which is a stock image website. This is a great option when you can't find what you're looking for in Cricut Design Space or you just don't want to pay for Cricut access. Just keep in mind that most of these sites have attribution rules if you are sharing the images. So I just downloaded the image I wanted and I'm going to use this group of images to create my own design. But first I need to remove the background and I'll link to a free background removal site if you don't have this available in your Design Space uh, app. So save the image as a cut file and upload to the canvas. The image file was very large so I resized it to fit and I want my design in a circle so I added a circle shape which will become my background. And for now I'll make the circle a guide just so we can see what we're working with. You can make any shape a guide just by selecting it and going up to the top panel where it says operation and then selecting guide at the bottom of that panel. This also makes it so it doesn't make it a cut layer if you don't want to cut that shape out. Now because this is all one image, I did not have the option to ungroup it, which typically you'll have with SVG files. So I duplicated the image and used the contour feature to separate each part of the file that I wanted in my design. I did repeat that uh, duplication process several times until I had this. And then to get the circle back as part of the design, I changed the operation back to basic cut. Now this next step should have been easy, but sometimes Cricut Design Space gets a little glitchy. Um, so the process should have been to weld all three pieces of the image file and then just slice everything with the circle. But what I did is select two of the images, slice that out of the circle, uh, and then go back and slice the third part of the image. So here's the process that it should be up on the screen just to make it a little easier for you if you haven't done this before. And here is my final design. I sized it to three and a half inches, which is the size of the acrylic ornament. And I cut it out of white permanent vinyl. And you'll see I did remove the inner pieces because that's what I want to show through on the ornament. And because this is clear acry acrylic and those parts are gonna show through, I painted the back of it black. And then I cleaned it with alcohol and I'm using the parchment paper hack here to cover most of the ornament while I place down the vinyl without it sticking accident accidentally. And once I know the vinyl is in place, I just use my scraper tool to burnish everything down and remove the transfer tape. And to get the hole in that ornament, I just use my weeding pen tool to cut out the hole. And I use some glitter gold ribbon from Dollar Tree to hang this on my tree. This is such a simple vinyl craft and the design possibilities are endless. Go ahead and leave a Christmas tree emoji if you want to see more ornament ideas and I'll see you in the next one.